So, I have been sitting on this fragrance for quite some time and I am dying to give you guys the tea on this new fragrance. <laughs> Today is the official release date of Platinum Rush. This is her 24th fragrance and is described as her favorite. Now let's get into the packaging. Honey, can we give Paris a round of applause for this gorgeous bottle? It is a flanker from the original Gold Rush and there is another flanker as well, which is called Rose Rush. But let's just say, I'ma need my glasses to read that shit. No shade. This bottle is embellished with silver glitter and a silver bustier. The bottom is like a dress draping the ground. Absolutely stunning. But I am gonna add that this design is a representation of how a fragrance can represent a brand or brand house. Bagari, I'ma need you to take notes. But enough about the packaging, let's get right into the juice. In the top you have Asian pear, red apple, and fresh mango. In the middle you have wet green florals, mugget flower, and sunburst magnolia. And in the base you have cashmere musks, sheer patchouli, and liquid amber. Now let's get right into the spray. This has a very, very good atomizer on it. And at first sniff, you are tranquilized by the Asian pears. Yes, honey. Red apple and mango just add to the fruitiness. After about 20 minutes of spraying this, there is almost like a unisex vibe starting to take place. The florals, not overdone, but almost toned down to get a fresh, wet, clean laundry type of scent. Then enters the polarizing base of patchouli, amber and musk, but a cashmerean musk that makes this scent unforgettable. Listen here, this is the best fragrance from Paris Hilton thus far. This can be worn any time of the day and definitely can be worn at any time of the year. This is not a seasonal fragrance. This perfume dries down beautifully. Run, not walk. So you can test and smell this fragrance. Honey, you will dress around this scent. Paris Hilton, you have a winner. This is a five out of five all day. Now carry on, honey, and start on the next flanker. Bronze Rush, perhaps? I'm just saying, though. This is not a sugary sweet fragrance, but a more mature polarizing scent. And if you love pear and you love musk, this scent is heavenly. So this does sit very high for me with celebrity fragrances. I wanna thank you so much for tuning in to this video. And if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and click down below and hit that subscribe button. And also be sure to click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time that I upload. Thank you and have a beautiful day.